Deuteronomy 28 and 15. So we'll talk about what we do though, right? We might not know what we're talking about, but let's talk about what we do. We know that we got here, how we get here. We get here on American Airlines. Let me get to the, to the some of them was originally here. Because you know this is the fourth part of the earth. Wasn't even, they didn't even know about this part of the earth, right? It was only the three parts. Right? Get that in the pocket. Let me show you. So when you say originally here, I know you mean that, that you were here before the so-called our enemies came over here. Right? So you had the indigenous people of the land, the, uh, which would be the northern kingdom from Ephraim on down, the so-called Hispanics, the Native American Indians. Right? Well, a lot of them was Negro. Right? We're going to show you how they got over here. In the Bible. I know my YouTube. Book of Second Edges, chapter thirteen, verse forty. Those yeah, are the ten tribes. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoner. So he's talking about the ten tribes who they say are lost tribes, right? The ten tribes outside of the Jews. The Jews consist of three tribes. Um, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, which will be today the Jamaicans, so-called West Indians, Haitians, and American blacks. All right, read. Out of their own land, in the time of Osea, the king, whom Solomon Nessar, the king of Assyria, led away captive, and he carried them over the waters, um, over the waters, and so came they unto another land. So the, the northern kingdom went into captivity, right, by the Assyrians. And they went into another land, read. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country. When so they came together and said, "We got to get away from these damn heathen." So they was planning an escape to get away from them, right? Where never mankind dwelt. Where what? Never mankind dwelt. Where never mankind dwelt over here in the in the uh, western part of the world, right? That they might there keep their statutes which they never kept in their own land. That's why they went into captivity because we broke we broke the commandments of God. So they never kept the commandments. So when the Lord allowed them to go into captivity by the Assyrians, they said, "Let's get the hell away from these people so we can go serve the Lord." Right? We. Right? And they entered into Euphrates by the narrow patches of the river, for the Most High then showed signs for them. Who showed them signs? The Most High then showed signs for them. When you read the scripture, you learn about the Israelites. They had uh, they they could look in the sky, look at the uh, council constellations and get signs from the Most High, right? They can read the moon and get signs, right? Read. And held still the flood till they were passed over. So the Lord, it was a storm and the Lord held his still, the, that's a long way to go, right from the river Euphrates all the way over here. So he, he held still the water so it was a smooth trip for them to get over here, right? Read. For through the country there was a great way to go, namely a year and a half. And the same region is called Aserith. Oh, uh, what? Aserith. Oh, man. Arsuric. So this is known as Arsuric. So it took, that's a long time to be on water. It took them a year and a half to get over here. So that's how they came to this part of the world. All right, now give me Deuteronomy, give me Deuteronomy one and one real quick. Because what we're gonna show you is this book from Genesis to Revelations, it's talking about us. It's our history book, all right? It don't got nothing to do with these other people. They took our book in captivity and tried to use it against us, all right? Because we couldn't read when we came over here. That's why, because we spoke Hebrew. And we're going to show you that too in the curses, but we didn't speak the language yet. All right, read Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Book of Deuteronomy. You ever read the Bible before? You have? In the Quran. Chapter 1 from the top. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side Jordan in the wilderness. So these are the words who the Lord spoke to the Israelites. So he's not talking to everybody. He's talking to a specific people. All right, give me 28 and 15. Because we all know this documented history, if you close the Bible, that we went into slavery, they teach us in schools, they make movies, they make billions of dollars off of it every year. So that's a fact that we know, but they don't tell us why, right? Why did we go into slavery? If we all equal and God loves everybody and everybody's one, why are we on the bottom? Why did this happen to us and nobody else, right? They knew who to come over there and get to come build up these places, right? They could have went over there and got any nation, but they came to get a specific people. All right, read. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But sister, you got to get out, sister. Right. All right, you got to separate from your enemy, man. All right, read this. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. 
Bush, y'all come to pass. He got on some. Bush, y'all come to pass. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So remember, the Lord was talking to the Israelites. He said, it shall come to pass. If we don't listen, read. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Lord said, if we broke the, broke the command, we made a covenant with the Most High. If we break the commandments, that curses will come upon us. So we fell under the curses. Now let's go through some curses and see if this is the so-called Jewish, the so-called white man who's in our land right now claiming to be us. Let's see if he fit these curses. All right, Ruth. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. So how do we live in the cities all over the earth? We curse, right? Last hire, first fire, getting shot down in the street, don't get justice, right? We, and we was cursed in the sugar cane field, the tobacco field, the cotton field. That's being cursed in the field, getting your back beat in, next to your children having to pick cotton till your fingers bleed. We, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another. Call the verse and read. 28, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 32. Thy sons and thy daughter shall be given unto another people. So our sons and daughters are given unto another people, right? That's a fact. That's history. When did, when did the so-called white man's son and daughter was given to another people? They know who they are. We wear their last name. Right? We? And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hands. So our foreparents can do nothing but cry. When Master Williams came to Master Jackson Plantation and said, I want this book, I want this young girl, and they took the kids. We couldn't do nothing but cry because we didn't have no might. We don't have an army, right, to go over there and get our children back. We? 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. And the Lord said the children of Israel will become an astonishment. We're an astonishment to these people, right? And look, look at these niggas, man. Pants hanging down. They don't know who they are. They call themselves black, a Crayola. Right? We're an astonishment. Our byword is being called outside your God-given nationality. Right? Puerto Rican, Cuban, American black. Those are bywords. Right? The Lord never, those terms are not in the Bible. You read the Bible. You never see America in the Bible. You don't see African in the Bible. But he created 18 nations of people. And they all got names. So what happened? Right? We? Uh, 28 and 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. So the Lord said, you're going to serve who? Your enemy. Say so you want to serve your enemy. Why is the Bible talking about a people having an enemy? You have to serve your enemy in hunger. So when y'all want food, what do y'all go get food? Walmart, McDonald's. Who owns those stores? Right? Read your enemy. Read. And in thirst, you want something to drink. Right? You don't pay your water bill. This man gonna come cut your water off. That's a curse to have to buy water. Water's free. This man put the cement down. Right? So he can charge you for water. Read. And in nakedness, you want clothes on your back. We don't own no textile mills. We have to go to the other nations to put clothes on our back. That's a curse. We. Really? And in want of all things. And in want of all things. So, and if you want an education, get where you gotta go. You gotta go to his education system, so he can teach you. He gonna teach you the truth. If he don't treat you right, you think he's gonna teach you right? Right? He's gonna tell you African American, right? He's gonna tell you about. Christopher Columbus killing Columbus. He's going to tell you about Thomas Jefferson, the old slave master. He's not going to tell you that uh, you're an Israelite, you God's chosen people, right? If you want a driver's license, even if you die, you got to go get a death certificate, right? If uh, 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 if you want to start your own business, you got to go to this man and get permission. You got to go get certificates. He might make you pass a course or something. You got to pay a fee every month. Then he going to tax you. That's being cursed, right? We. Right? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. Hey man, we had yokes of iron on our neck, right? You see these yokes of iron? Who did that happen to? When did the white man have yokes of iron on his neck? Right, we? Uh, 28 and 50. Oh, and it said until you have been destroyed. So right now we don't got chains on. But it's just like a pit bull. You got a pit bull on the chain. Every time he go past the curb, I yank him back. At some point he, cha he trained, I could take the chains off. Right, he know not to go past that. So the Lord said, once we were destroyed mentally, they, they would take the chains off. So now you got a bunch of destroyed Negroes who don't know who they are. Right? So that's Bible prophecy, right? 2854. So that the man that is tender among you, very delicate. So our men used to be tender and delicate. Meaning what? We used to care about each other. How you doing, brother? How your family doing? Right? How can I help you? Do you need anything? But now, what? His eyes shall be evil towards his brother. Now his eyes going to be evil toward his brother. Now, you know, Jake, Jake mean mugging you. What this nigga looking at? 
You step on the shoe, you might put a bullet in your head. You got black on black crime. You ever heard of, heard of Asian on Asian crime? They kill each other. You ever heard of uh, Arab on Arab crime? China on China crime? But they kill each other, right? Killing is proximity. People normally kill where they live. But it's a thing called black on black crime, right? Why is that? Curses. So the Lord said, our eye will be evil toward one another. We don't get mad. We don't get mad at the white man. White man come shoot your daughter in the face, right? Big mama get on the news the next day and say, I forgive you. The Lord will want me to forgive him, right? But you won't talk to your brother for a year, right? Because he make you mad one time. That's your eye being evil towards your brother, right? And towards the wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Mm. So who's known for leaving their children? That's a curse on our people. The Lord said the man will leave the children. And his, wife, and his eyes will be evil towards his wife, his woman. All right? So those are curses. That, that, hey, man, the, the white man don't leave his family, man. Right? Well, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm not saying it's not uh, ever been a white man leave their kid, but I'm saying for the most part, they don't. They stay. You ask these white people, they was with their mother and their father. Right? Read. Uh, 28 and 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one. Read, read 49. Uh, um, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth as swift as the eagle flight. So the Lord said he's going to bring a nation against you. That's talking about another people. Right? As swift as the what? Eagle flyer. Whose symbol is the eagle? America, Spain. All these nations that came against us, they, all their symbols the eagle, because he exalted himself as an eagle. An eagle is a predator. A predator, what does it do? It's, it sits, it's high, it likes to be on top of caves, and it, and it watches its prey, and it swoops down on its prey. Right? Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. So we got off those slave ships. Do we, can we speak English? Can we read? No. Right? Read. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt... What, what is the one end of the earth to the other? From the east all the way to the west. That's how we got over here in America. Because we're from the east. We're from Jerusalem. Right? Read. And there thou shalt serve other gods. We're going to do what? Serve other gods. Oh, we're going to serve the God of Israel. Serve other gods. We were going to serve other gods when we got here. What gods? Gods that they give us. Right? That they forced us to serve. Read. Right? Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. He said, your fathers didn't know these. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob don't know nothing about this Caesar Borgia's white Jesus right here that our people worship. Right? What does the wood represent? He said wood and stone. Wood is, represents the cross, right? The number one religion in the world has over us. What we, what we looked at it this morning. 2.3.5 billion people. That's the wide gate. That's that Christianity he said we were built to. And the stone. What is the stone? Islam, the number two religion. Right? Don't they go worship the cobblestone in Mecca? They bow down and kiss the stone. That's what the Bible is talking. The Bible is written in parables, dark sayings, allegory. Right? That's why you got to go precept upon precept to get the understanding. So he said our people would be in Christianity and Islam. Right? Read. Uh, 2868. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, if you know anything about the Bible, we just came out of Egypt when he's talking to, to us right here. We was in captivity under Pharaoh and the Egyptians. He split the Red Sea. We came out. He gave us the commandments. And he's talking to us. So we just came out of Egypt. Where in the Bible did they ever go back into Egypt? It didn't happen. So this is a future prophecy. So now we got to figure out what Egypt means. Right? What is In Hebrew, Egypt is Mizraim, which means between... A rock in a hard place, basically. Uh, let's get, get uh, you got it? Exodus 20, read. Book of Exodus chapter 20, verse. This is a precept to show you what Deuteronomy 28 and 6 says. Book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I'm the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Out of what? The house of bondage. So Egypt is synonymous in the scriptures with slavery or bondage. So the Lord is saying, I'm going to bring you into slavery again. All right? Go back to 68, read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. Whoa, with what? With ship. Now they walked into Egypt and walked out of Egypt. You don't need a ship in the Eastern world. But you, we got on ships to come over here, right? Can any other nation say they wanted to slavery on ships? 
Hey, don't they got a uh, pyramid on the back of the American dollar? All the way over here? They know that that means slavery because this place is built up on our slavery. Go ahead. Because uh, this place is built up on our slavery. So America is good with symbols. They use symbols. That's why in Revelations, America is known as spiritual Sodom in Egypt. So this is a spiritual Egypt over here. All right, read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Wait a minute. Now the Lord said we wouldn't see our homeland again. Now we haven't seen our homeland again. We still over here in the place of our captivity. So how the hell in 1948, right, in the birth of, uh, what is it, the uh, declaration, uh, British mandate, did they put those people back in that land? Now they're the Jewish people in 1948. When the real Jews, when, when uh, the Messiah come back, we're going to be in the land of our captivity because he's coming to save us. But if you're already back in the land, he's not talking about you. Right? Right. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Wait a minute. Were we sold? To who? Your enemies. So the Lord is telling you were sold to your enemies. So who are we sold to? You can say it, brother. Say it. Who are we sold to? Who? The goddamn white man. Right? Right. The Edomites. They sold us, right, from plantation to plantation, man. Look at this. Great sale of slaves. January 10, 1855. They, hey, man, you know, Jake got flowers today. They had flyers, man. Right? Give me Psalms 49 and 11. So what are we showing you? We're showing you that this is our book, that we are the Israelites. Why? Because we fit the curses. Read. What you got? No, this is good on that. This Psalms 49 and 11. Because what happened? Read. Book of Psalms, chapter 49, verse 11. Come hear the word, brother. All right, read. The inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. So these people think that this is going to last forever. America thinks nobody's going to bring them down. Right? And the Most High set that up, man. He's confounded them, man. That's why they all proud. But guess what? The Egyptians fell. Right? We was in captivity under the Assyrians. They fell. The Persian and Medes, they fell. The Greeks, they fell. The Romans, they fell. So guess what? America is not going to last, man. All right? Read. And their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. So that's what happened. They call their lands after their own names. So that's why when you read the Bible, you're like, who the hell are the Canaanites? What happened to the, uh, the Edomites? Right? Where are the Israelites? There's no more Israelites. Well, the Bible said there's no end of the people. Was there another flood? Right? When he wiped out everybody and started a new... No. So everybody from Shem, Ham, and Japheth is still here. But they call their lands after their own name. For example, America, our people call themselves America. Named after who? A white man. Amerigo Vespucci, Africa, it's named after another white man, Scipio Africanus, who defeated Hannibal in the Second Punic Wars. So they conquered lands and then they named the land after them, and then they put it on you. Right? Read? Yeah, give me Psalms 83. Shalom, brother. Book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel. Start at one, start at one. Book of Psalms, chapter 83, from the top. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. So the Most High got enemies. And you're going to find out that the enemies of the Lord is the same enemy to the people on this side right here. Right. right, right. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Meaning what? When they lift up the head, they got proud. They that hate the Lord, now the so-called white man is proud as hell. Right? Now he's so proud, he want to build a wall to keep the people out that he stole the land from. Right. That's proud. Right? We? They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. So this is two parties involved. He said they, talking about one people, have taken crafty counsel against his people. Right? So what do they get all this universal love and God is everybody? No, this whole Bible, Lord is talking about a people and all their enemies. What is crafty counsel? Sneaky, a sneaky, the, the, the United Nations. Do we have a seat in the UN? Who speaks on our behalf then? The other nations. Right? We? and consulted against our hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Wait a minute, they said what? Come and let us cut them off from being a nation. They said, we cannot let these people know that they're the same people. That's why they separated us on the plantations. That's why they gave us different names. We can't let these people know that they're the greatest people on the planet. We gotta cut them off from being a nation so that the name of Israel is no more in existence. Right. So that's Bible prophecy has been fulfilled. Because now, do we walk around saying we God's people? No, we say we Gentiles. We say we niggas. We say we Jamaicans. We say we black Americans. 
right? Mm -hmm. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembering. Now they Israelis and Jewish people over there in our land, right? Mm -hmm. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against us. So they are confederate against us, talking about these other nations. So it's not just the so-called white man. And the Lord, he about to name the people. Watch this, read. The tabernacles of Edom. Edom, the so-called white man, the Edomites. And the Ishmaelites. The Ishmaelites is the Arab man. Of Moab. The Moab, the China man. The Hagarians. The African nation. Gabal. Another African nation. And Ammon. The Japanese. And Amalek. Amalek is the Jewish, the grandson of Esau. The Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. Basically all nations. Right, did the China man have us enslaved in the Silk Road slave trade? What about the Sub-Saharan slave trade, the Arab man? So all these nations have had their hands on the children of God. How do you think this earth got built up so great? They just passed us around, and we built up this whole earth. Right? Give me uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. Give me the book of Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. And all this happened because we broke the commandments. So the Lord says, you don't want to serve me, I'm going to make you serve your enemies. Right? Because what we do, we do everything the white man do. We don't keep the laws of God. Right? We? Look at Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. So the Lord said we were going to discontinue. What does it mean to discontinue? To be cut off. Meaning we don't even have a heritage. Now our heritage is hip hop. Right? Being a nigga, nigga man and a nigga woman. That's our heritage. Right? We? And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. This is a land that we didn't know. And we over here serving our enemies day in and day out. We go to work for him and we get paid. And that's like we that's like it's like a pimping service. America is set up, it's like they like pimps. Because guess what? When you get your check, in order to survive, when you whenever you ready to spend your money, you gotta get it back to him. So his money is just right? We really? For ye have kindled a fire in my anger. And we pissed the Lord off. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Why? Right? Why? Why Why are we at the bottom like this, man? The Lord told us from the beginning, man. When you go in the covenant, if let's say you come to me and we have an agreement. And I say, look, man, I'm, I'm going to give you this money. You're going to do this work for me. Right? But there's stipulations. I may say, you know what? If you don't give me this money back by this time, I'm going to charge, charge you interest, interest from this time until you pay me. Right? Or I might say, I'm going to cancel the agreement, and I'm going to come back and take everything, and you're still going to owe me. Those are the stipulations if the agreement is not fulfilled. Well, the Lord gave us stipulations. He said, if you break my commandment, the stipulation is you, you're going to be cursed all the day long. It's going to be nothing you can do. You mean to tell me four so-called white men can, have, can take all these black people and put them in slavery just walking around? No, the Lord put this, the Lord did that. Right? That's what he's telling you. Read this. This is what the Lord said about the people on this side. That they won't tell you in the church. Read. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Holy being separate. The Lord said we are separate people unto the Lord. We're not like everybody else. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people. He chose us to be special. Right? Read special people unto himself above all people no we the same above all people we below above all people thou upon the face of the earth we above everybody right don't we look better right aren't we better at sports what can these people do better than us what can they succeed in the, without us right they use and abuse us man they know we better than them man right so we got to come back to who give me Leviticus 20 and 26 we got to come back to who we are as Israelites. Serve the Lord, man. The Lord is getting ready to destroy America, man. America's about to be burnt off the face of the planet, man. And our people love this place, right? They love America. Just like Lot's wife, when he was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, what she did? She was looking back. Our people going to be looking back because they don't want, they, they say they love the Lord, but they don't want America to be destroyed. Because they love America. Because, you know, Jake, some, some of our people might got good jobs. They might be all right. They might say, oh, the white, all white people not bad because they hate their people, man. Right? I don't care how good I'm doing. I'm not above my nation. So if all of us is not in that position, then we all at the bottom, man. You know the average income for the so-called white man is $77,000? Guess what it is for us? About $30,000. That's not even enough to survive. So how is this an equal society? Right? Right? Book of, Deut uh, Salak, the book of Leviticus chapter 20 verse 26 and ye shall be holy unto me
for I, the Lord, am holy, and have severed you from other people. No, oh, he brought us all together. Have severed you from other people. The Lord severed us from the other people. We different. We ain't like them. We're not supposed to do what they do. But what were we doing? We were going with these other nations. We start following their gods. We start trying to be like them, dressing like them, eating the food that they ate. Right? Ooh. That ye should be mine. And a man also or woman that hath a familiar spirit or that is a wizard shall surely be put to death. So, and that's what happened. A lot of our people, man, they go to these psychics. Go get this psychic power ring. That's what that's going into. Right? Those are those familiar spirits, man. Those wicked spirits. Talking about uh, to my love life. Read my hand and tell me where I'm going to meet my husband. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's wicked. Get, uh, get um, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. So you may be saying, now what? All right, so we the Israelites, right? We God told the people now what? We still on the bottom, right? Read this. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. You got to keep the commandments. The same thing that got us in this situation, we got to come back to it. All right, give me 2 Samuel 7 and 14. You got to go. What's your nationality, brother? Because you say you didn't know. Huh? So what's your nationality? I'm asking you now. You still don't know? You still undecided? After all that, y'all still don't know? I'm just asking you. Give me, give me uh, Psalms 97. Yeah, the grave one. So y'all spirit don't bear witness with none of that? I'm asking you. I'm not saying you said or not. So Moses prophesied thousands of years before it happened. Right? And then we just read, basically read your history to you. And the situation we are today in 2020. Right? That's called prophecy. All right. And there are other prophecies in here that haven't come to pass yet. So you best believe that they're going to come to pass. Just like, so we don't want you to miss out on the kingdom that's coming. Right? Just because you kind of, you know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm going to show you what's, what's going on right now. All right? Read this. Book of Psalms, chapter 97, verse 7. Confounded be all they that serve graven images. You know what confounded means? Confused. So you kind of confused right now. Right? You kind of, even after all that prophecy, because you, you worship engraven images. Right? What is that around your neck? Explain that to me. Give me Habakkuk 2 and 18. Huh? See? Right? That's why we went into captivity for doing stuff like that. Right? Because these people, that's not your people. These people oppressed you. All right? I'm, give me, give me, get the, let me get this out. Let me show you one last thing before you go. Get, get ham for me in here. And then give me Leviticus 11 and 7. I mean Exodus. I'm going to show you something. We just told you that God said we holy. We separate from other people. We the greatest people on the planet. All right? And that's a, that's a, that's a God. Read this. Um. This is uh, Donovan uh, Bible Compact Dictionary. Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before. As you probably was taught we come from Ham, we Africans, right? That's, we was all taught that. I ain't going to just say, yeah, because I was too. We were taught that we were Africans, or uh, Hamites. Africans are really Hamites, just Africans are white men, really. About 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. Y'all know the story about the flood, right? The whole world populated by Noah and his he became the progenitor of the dark races. So he was the progenitor of the dark races. We? Not the Negroes. Wait a minute, but what? Not the Negroes. But not the Negroes. We come from Shem. Give me uh, Exodus 11 and 7. We come from Shem. We Shemites. All right? We the real Shemitic people. So when they say, they come out here and tell us all the time we anti-Semitic. Uh, How can we be anti-ourselves? Because they stole your identity and told you you was the Hamite. So they could be God's people. So everybody can look at them like they God. But the Lord said, we gods. Psalm 82 and 6, know you that you are gods. All right? 
you guys over there. Look, look at this man right here, man. How these people ruling over us, man? Look at this, man. Right, and they proud as hell, man. But they look down on us. Look at this. Book of Exodus chapter 11, verse 7. But again, any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. Nobody can speak against the Lord called these other nations dogs. Read. Against man or beast, that ye may know how the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. The Lord put a difference between us, brother. And they know that. We the only people who cleaving on to somebody else's heritage. And we hate ourselves and we hate what the Lord gave us. That's why the Lord did this to us, man. Right? Yeah, bring it down. Now you say you gotta go. You say you gotta go. But brother, you're an Israelite, man. All right? You gotta keep the commandments, man. Hey, get a brother, get a brother applause. Our prayers are sister. You, you too, sister. You gotta keep the commandments too. You're an Israelite too, sister. All right? And we got a mighty kingdom coming, man. The Lord about to destroy this place. But if y'all don't repent and keep the commandments, y'all gonna die in the land of your enemies. That's the other part of it. Two thirds of our people are gonna fall by the sword. He's only coming back to say one third. There's only one third of our people are gonna come back, believe this truth, and start keeping the commandments and righteousness. All right? So Christianity is a hell of a drug, man. Christianity is like crack cocaine, man. Right? All praises, man. All praises. Well, you got to get rid of that, that toilet tissue Quran, too, man. All praises. All right? And you got to get rid of that on your neck, man. Take that off, man. Right? If I was you, I'd take it and throw it right now, man. That's going to get you destroyed. Give me Habakkuk 2 and 18. Give me book of Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 18. You see Esau, man. Look at back. I don't know what happened to my instinct. Give me a Habakkuk 2 and 18. He was kind of confounded on that part. How you doing, brother? Nah, brother, we don't stop for nothing, man. We prophesied to the wind. Give me a Habakkuk 2 and 18 when you get a chance, brother. Baba Kasha. What's your name? Robert. Robert, nice to meet you, brother. I'm Jonathan. Book of Habakkuk chapter two. Uh, Book of Habakkuk chapter two, verse eighteen. What prop? Uh, what profits the graven image? Yeah, what profit are you walking around with an Egyptian god on your neck? What is that gonna profit you? Why are you over here being oppressed by the white man in America? We right? that the uh, so I can that the maker thereof hath graven it. Hey, somebody made some money off of that. Somebody made that up, made it, molten it, took the gold. It probably ain't even real gold. They probably put the gold on top of silver. You went in the store and bought it and put it around your neck. Read. The molten image and a teacher of lies. What is it? A molten image and a teacher of lies. It's a teacher of lies, man. Right? How y'all doing? Y'all proud to be American? Yes, sir. You are? How did, Amer how did America get to become America? How, how did they stole it. So you proud to be walking on stolen land. Right? And all so-called white people are going into captivity. Right. Right? Give me Revelation 13 and 9. Right? For the rape, rob, and murder, man. You got to pay. Right? There's no salvation for the so-called white man, woman, and child. Read this. Book of Revelation chapter 13. Hear that? And that's how we know the Bible is a true book. The Lord said our enemies have lifted up the head. They proud. She proud. I'm proud to be an American. You proud of that bloody-ass flag. Right? <laughs> Read this. Book of Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. Hey, listen to this, Mr. So-called White Man. Oh, read, read. If any man have an ear, let Not him hear. Ears. Listen to this. He that leadeth in the captivity shall go in the captivity. So get ready for captivity. Read. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Give me Jeremiah 30 and 16. Right? He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Right? You kill our people with the sword. Right? You hung us from trees. You fed our babies to alligator. So the Lord is just. Right? Mm. Book of Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 16 Therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured The Lord said all you so called white people devoured The so called blacks, Hispanics, Native American, Indian You will be devoured Wait. 
and all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. No, just some of them. Every one of them shall go into captivity. Just the bad ones. Every one of them shall go into captivity. Every last one of you are going into captivity. Hey, was Daniel righteous? What about Ezekiel and Jeremiah? What, didn't they go into captivity? But the white man is proud. He don't think it can happen to him. Right? We? And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. All y'all that destroyed us will be destroyed, man. Thus saith the Lord. We? And all that pray upon thee will I give for a prey. You're going to give us for a prey. Right? So we're going to hunt you down in that day. You hear that? You believe in the Bible, Mr. White Man? Right? All right. Give me, give me, give me uh, Isaiah 14, 21. Isaiah 29, 11. Yeah, yeah, give me Isaiah 14, 21 first, then get Isaiah 29, 11. Book Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children. Do what? Prepare slaughter for his children. Every, looking at the children of Esau everywhere, man. Walking on the bones and the blood of our people, man. Living out this land that they stole. Right? We? For hey, slaughter's mass killing. You young, you young Edomites hear that? Slaughter. Death and destruction is coming to you. We? For his children. For who? His children. For his children. We? Really? For the iniquity of their fathers. So God said you got to pay for the sins of your forefathers. Because you're an accessory to murder. You're living out of it today. And you're still oppressing us. Get 29 and 11. What, Jeremiah or Isaiah? Jeremiah. He, he called Jeremiah. Oh, okay. 29 and 11. Book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon us, uh, like Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you, and ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. And that's how you hear that, sister. You hear that, sister. The Lord said He got good thoughts towards you. He has no plans to destroy you, right? But if you don't repent and keep the commandments, right, you're going to be destroyed with your enemies, right? All right, that's talking about the 12 tribes of Israel, man. Give me, give me uh, Hosea 5 and 15 real quick. Read the book of Hosea 5 and 15. Read. Book of Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. I will go and return. Skip, how you doing, brother? Brother with the visor on. You know your nationality, brother? What's your nationality? Huh? American? Let me ask you a question. Do you descend from America of Vespucci? The root word of nationality is nation. So do you come from a white man named America Vespucci? You believe in the Bible? Where did the Lord call a nation of people Americans? So somebody gave you that name, right? So what we out here to do is teach our people the truth and give them their identity back in these last days. All right, you got five minutes, three minutes, so we can show you who you are? Are you gonna continue being Americans called after the so-called white man? We, we wanna show you that you're greater than an American. That's not real. That's literally a man named America Best Future. We are the Israelites, brother. Right? Right, brother. So the Lord said you gotta be called by the name that he gave. What does Israel mean? You know what that means? It means prince that has power with God, right? Not your oppressor name. Give me Psalms 49 and 11 real quick for the brother go. I'm gonna show you why you call yourself an American. Why people think where they were born, that's their nationality, right? Because if me and my wife have a baby, and she pregnant, and we get off the plane in China, if my baby Chinese, you gonna look at me like I'm crazy, I'll say, my baby Chinese, right? Who? Book of Psalms chapter 49 verse 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. They call their lands after their own names. Right? Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. So America is named after America Vespucci, an Italian map maker. Africa is named after uh, Scipio Africanus, another white man. Right? None of those terms are in the Bible. Read this last one. Read. Book of Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. So the Lord is prophesying to Jeremiah. He said we were going to discontinue from our heritage. So we've been cut off from knowing who we are. We that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. We went into slavery, we served our enemies. What do they do? They beat your name out of you. We didn't speak 
English, the language, who spoke Hebrew. So we had to learn their language and learn their religion and learn who we were from them, right? Because why we broke the commandments and then now the Lord is calling us back in these last days. You gotta come back to, be, the Lord not coming back. Give me Matthew 15, 24, real quick. The Lord not coming back for no Americans or no African Americans. He told you who he's coming back for. And he's coming back soon, man, right? He's coming back to destroy America and these nations, man, and put them in chains, right? Read. Book of Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. This is Christ, read. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Hey, we got a lot of Israelites think they're American. Those are the lost sheep, right? The lost sheep. He's only coming back for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, right? So we got to come out here in the last days and prophesy to our brothers and raise you up. So you can be over here and teach your people. The Lord didn't uh, want us to be, give me uh, Exodus 19, 6. They want us to be athletes, comedians, rappers. The Lord raised us up to be a kingdom of priests so we can get the kingdom of heaven, man. This is not our rest. This place is about to be burnt to smithereens. He brought us over here as a punishment for breaking his commandments, not to have a damn good time. Right? Read this. Book, uh, book of Exodus chapter 19, verse 6. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests. A what? Kingdom of priests. A kingdom of ball plug. Kingdom of priests. So you, this is your history book. From Genesis to Revelation, it's talking to you and you only. Right? So you got to learn this. These, these precepts and you got to teach your people and make your body a living sacrifice so you can get the kingdom of heaven. One last scripture, Ecclesiastes, I mean, Ecclesiastes 12, 13. All right. One last scripture for you, bro. All right, I get your, yours too, bro. Because you, you know what your purpose is? You don't know your purpose? Oh, we're going to show you today. All right, read. Wait, 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 wait. Do uh, Matthew 28, right here 20. Alright, we got you. Read this. Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, read verse 13. That. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. It's the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Lord and keep his commandments. Read. Um, keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. This is the whole duty. This is your whole purpose. This is the whole reason. Anybody ever told you why we went into slavery? If we all won and God loves everybody, why did this happen to us and nobody else? Matthew 28, uh, 19 and 20. I read that. This is your, this is like the man right here. 19 and 20? Yeah. 28, 19 and 20. You want 28? Chapter 28, 19 and 20. Then, then you can go. The book of um, Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to obey all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Why did the Lord tell, to tell them to go into all nations? Give me James 1 and 1. And how you gonna teach him? He, 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 he gotta get himself right first. But you gotta learn first, you gotta be born again. Right. Our people are so full of Christianity and, and, and these world philosophies. That's why the Lord said you gotta be born again. You gotta become, I had to literally become a baby again. Like knowing nothing and be retaught. Right, read this. Book of James, chapter 1 from the top. James, a servant of God. I know what he was getting at, but this is the precept. <laughs> James, a servant of Yahweh and of the Lord Hamashiach Yahweh to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. So they had to go into all nations because we're in all nations. Right. right? So that's why. Give me Matthew 10 and 5. Right? The precept of what he pulled. Because a lot of them, what they, when you go to church, they're going to read that all day. All nations. All nations. So you got the damn wife. You got Joe Austin teaching us the Bible. Right? It's not, it's not for him, man. He can't understand the Bible. Read this. Book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 5. These 12, Yahweh Shai, sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Wait a minute. Now he's saying, Don't go into the way of the Gentiles. See, this Bible can't confound you if you ain't got the spirit. Read. And into it, uh, Salaki, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not. Don't go to them, read. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, right? Give me Psalms 111 and 10 for the brother. Give me Psalms 111 and 10. Book of Psalms chapter 111 verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So you got to learn to fear the Lord. That's the beginning of your wisdom. A lot of our people don't fear the Lord. We do what we want to do. We think nothing's going to happen. Right. Read. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. In order to get a good understanding, you got to keep the commandment. 
you got a lot of preachers in the church pulling pulling it, pulling these scriptures. But in order to get a good understanding, you got to keep the commandment. Give me Hebrews five and twelve. Right. Book of Hebrews chapter five verse twelve. For when, for the time ye ought to be teachers, it's the time for you to teach. Right? Really? Ye have need that one teach you again. You gotta be taught again. Really? Which be the first principles of the oracles of Yahweh, and are become such as have need of milk and not strong meat. Need milk. Right? Not strong meat. Give me Leviticus 21 and 5. A baby can't eat meat steak. Can't give a baby steak. They're gonna choke. You gotta give them milk. So you gotta get the sense of milk of the word. If you go in Matthew 28, you get, get, get confounded. That's meat. The gospel is meat. It's a lot of parables, dark sand, right? But Christianity tend to go right to the New Testament. Now everybody think God loves everybody and everybody and Jesus for everybody. Right, right. He, Paul was an apostle to the Gentiles. Right. But you don't know who the Gentiles are, right? And where did he get all this knowledge from? Right, because it was there a New Testament. Was there a New? Was there a New Testament? It was. They only had the Old Testament. So they understand it came from the Old Testament. I have a Bible. But I said, I do what I, what my father told me, and I, I do what my father told me. Get, uh, get the, uh, yeah. the commandment. You're going to do the book. The book is 21 and 5. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So that's a commandment. Right? So you gotta grow your beard. You can't be shaving your beard off. You breaking the commandment. That's why we just read the good understanding have all that they keep the commandment. So you gotta grow your beard. Give me first Corinthians. I can see you shave it right there. You gotta keep what you got, brother. Get uh the order. In three. Five. The book of uh, first Corinthians chapter eleven, verse three. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is, is Yahweh. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So who is your head? So you're dishonoring your head right now because your head is covered. Our praises. <laughs> hey, we cold too. Hey, but we keep the commandments. We fear the Lord. Right? Come. Get that in Acts. Right, we feel the Lord, man. That's why we come out here, rain, sleet, the snow, man. Making our body a living sacrifice, man. That's right. Book of Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on the tree. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, for to give repentance to Israel. No, you read that wrong, everybody. For to give repentance to Israel. Repentance to Israel. I saw the peace sign. Oh, I, I saw the peace sign. Sorry about that. When you know peace sign, if you read this thing like yeah. you know peace return back to me. When, when, when in the Bible do it say? When it didn't return back to me, I knew who you were. When, when, when in the Bible it say get, throw up a peace sign? Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Sister, you got demons on you. You got to repent. You got demons on you. Hey, man, I showed the sister love and peace, man. I told the sister to repent. Right? Give me, do the, give me, hold that and give me uh, Matthew 10 and 5 real quick. No. Then she just got, our sister just got, she just got, so she ain't got no Bible. She just, what you just read, but keep, keep going. Oh, um, but, Book of uh, Matthew chapter, book of Matthew chapter ten, verse six. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Come into the lost sheep. The sister is definitely a lost sheep because she got those tight pants on, right? With those, uh, with the right woman hair on her head. Read, that's lost. Read. And as you go, preach, saying, "The kingdom of heaven is at hand." Mm -hmm. Right. So, so give me a Luke thirteen and three. Right, so we so we do what we supposed to do. But the sister came by, she mad for nothing. That's those demons, man. This word conjure up them demons, man. Them demons, they don't like the word of God, man. Right, read. 
book of Luke, chapter 13 and 3. I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. So the Lord said, if you don't repent, you're going to perish. So that's what we out here saying. So we ain't saying nothing wrong. So we told the sister right. Right? If you don't repent, you're going to die in the land of your enemy, with your enemies. Right? Give me Jeremiah 5 and 14. She just bugged out, man. Our people bugged out, man. Right? That's being destroyed for lack of knowledge. Oh, God, God. 5 and uh, 14. Read. Book of Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 14. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, because ye have, uh, Salaki, because ye speak this word, because we speak this word, come on, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire. She heard this fire, man. Right? She heard us over here speaking this fire that the Lord put in our mouth. Read. And this people wood. She was like a piece of wood. What does fire do to wood? Burn. It burn you up, man. Burn. Come on. And this shall devour them. Lo, I will bring a nation upon you from far. Oh, ye give me uh, uh, Isaiah 8 and 20. It's like, right? So she just, that's all it is, man. She was all cut up by the world, man. She upset. Those demons on her brought her back, man. Got her bucking up against the world. She should have been stopping to ask what we teaching, man. What is this all about? Yeah, great. Right? We? Uh, uh, book of Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20. To the law and to the testimony. So to the law, to the Torah, right? And to the testimony of Hamashiach Yahushua, read. If they speak not according to this word. And she coming up talking about some peace is not according to the Bible. Bible. She's speaking her own words. Read. It is because there is no light in them. It's because there's no light, man. She don't have the light, man. That's what's going on. She hungry. Give me Isaiah 55 and 1. Right? She hungry, man. And ain't nobody feeding her. Right? So she all destroyed. But we up here with the answers. We up here with the food. Right? Read. Look, Isaiah chapter 55 from the top. And she don't know. She could have came up here and got fed and got food. Read. Oh, everyone that thirsts, come ye to the waters. Come to the waters. What is the water of this word? These are living waters. Read. And he that has no money, come ye by. This ain't got no money, man. But you don't need no money for this, this food. Right? Come ye by and eat. Yay. Come. Buy wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfieth not? Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good. Hey, the Lord said, come eat what's good, man. Right? So we up here with the food, man. We up here with the wine, with the honey, with the milk. Right? We got the answers. Right? Give me uh, Isaiah 55 and uh, 6. It's five or six. Yeah. But Isaiah chapter 55 verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. So we got to seek the Lord while he may be found. Because it's going to come a time when you're not going to be able to seek the Lord. Right? Call ye upon him while he is near. Hey, the Lord is near right now. You got the Israelites waking up. The truth is out. Right? Hey, you got brothers waking up all over the world, man, in these last days. Coming out on the streets, man, prophesying. Read. Let the wicked forsake his way. Hey, it's time for the wicked to forsake his way. Hey, now it's time to repent and turn from your wickedness. Read. And the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon you, uh, upon him. Hey, the Lord will have mercy upon you, man. All you got to do is repent, man, and come back to the Most High. Right? Give me Amos 8 and 11. Give me the book of Amos 8 and 11. Because the Lord said, you better seek him now, man. Y'all better stop playing, man. Right? And hey, the Lord said, I kill and I make alive, man. Right? So the most high, hey, it's sifting season, man. A lot of people going to get put to death, man, soon, man. Now you got that. Bring it down. Book of Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst, for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Hey, the Lord said that the days are coming, he's going to send a famine, man. But not a food of hearing this word. Right? You're not going to have brothers out here, man, with the understanding and be able to break these down in that day, man. You're going to be running to your pastor, man, and he ain't going to have no answers, man. Right. And they, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, 
they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord. Hey, that sister might come back right here looking for us in that day when all hell break loose. Right, when martial law kick off, when Jacob's trouble start, man. When all the clothes, uh, the stores close down and ain't no food. Right? When it's total mayhem, man. She gonna come back and where are those brothers was at? What was they saying again? They gonna, the Lord is prophesying that that's gonna happen. We. Uh, two, run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Shall what? Not find it. We're not gonna be out here in that day, man. Right, and we're doing the work now. The Lord says, seek him now, man, while you got the chance. Before he put you to death, man. Because the wages of sin is death, death. man. Right? 6 and 23, that's right, brother. Bring your pussy over. Proverbs 1 and 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And hey, the Lord is telling you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, Seminole Indians, how long will you love simplicity? Right, what is simplicity? Right? It's Christianity. Right? All these fake religions that's not of God, man. Following the ways of the so-called white man. Right? right? We? And the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. And what? Fools hate knowledge. Fools hate the knowledge of the Most High God. We? Turn you at my reproof, behold. I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. And so the Lord said he was going to make known his words unto you. He was going to send you prophets with the truth, man. We? Because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. They just looking at their future. They just looking at their future on the side. Right? Y'all y'all teach them about this history right here? Y'all see all these people being hung on trees? That's the future of the so-called white man. That said the Lord. Captivity. Right? All y'all going to change, man. Thus said the Lord, thus said the Holy Bible. You got a problem with it, take it up to the Most High. Wait. Hey, you see the, you see, give me Psalm 137. Give me Psalm 137. Hey, you see the little Edomite, little white children looking at the, the black boys hanging on trees? Hey, they was infatuated, man. And hey, they didn't even want to leave. Hey, the parents had to come back and say, y'all come on. Right? Hey, that's the spirit of the Lord. They looking at their future, man. Read this. Book of Psalm, chapter 137 and 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. Now, forgive and forget. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. The Lord said, remember the children of Edom. Remember what the children, what the so-called white man did to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians. Read. In the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. Because they were cheering them on when they were tearing down our temple. They were saying, raise it, raise it. Read. O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. America is the daughter of Babylon, who must be destroyed. Read. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Hey, the Lord said we're going to be happy to pay y'all back for what y'all did to us, man. We Happy shall he be that taketh and dashes thy little ones against the stone. What we going to do to those little white kids, We Take it and dashes thy little ones against the stone. We're going to take their little babies and dash them against the stone because they fed our babies to alligators. They held our children on trees. So God is righteous and just. And the so-called white man is a hypocrite. Because you murder somebody, and he give you a death penalty, and everybody say justice was served. But what the Lord said, for the rape, rob, and murder, it's going to happen to you. So all so-called white people are going into slavery, right. according to the Bible. Read. Read it again. Uh, 27. Book of Psalm, chapter 37, verse 7. Book of Psalm, chapter 137 and 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom, in the day of Jerusalem, who says, raise it, raise it even to the foundation thereof, O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dashes thy little ones against the stones. Hey, the Lord said you're going to be happy in that day to do that, man. Right, give me Psalm 149. Yeah, give me Psalm 149. Give me the classic, man. Right? Hey, this is the patient and the faith of the saint. Because so if you're a saint, this is what you're patiently waiting for, man. Right, not no kumbaya and holding hands with, with your enemy, man. God also said, the right, that's right. Because, hey, the, the was last going to be first and the first going to be last. Yeah. Right, so it's, it's, about, it's called trading places. It's called trading places. The most high about to flip this thing, man. Right? The so-called white man kingdom is finished, man. It's over for you, man. Wait. The book of Psalms, chapter 1. All praises. 
book of uh, Psalms chapter 149 verse 4 for the Lord taketh pleasure in his people he will beautify the meek with salvation let the saints be joyful in glory let them sing aloud upon their beds let the high praises of Yahweh be in their mouths and the two-edged sword in their head hey man what do you do with a two-edged sword man brother what do you do with a two-edged sword slice and dice and Broke up? What's your nationality, brother? Brother, you gotta be on, man. <laughs> to execute vengeance upon the heathen. To do what? Execute vengeance upon the heathen. Hey, so the Bible is talking about vengeance, revenge upon the other nations, man. So your pastor is a bad liar, man. We and punishment upon the people. Punishments upon the people. We. To, uh, to bind their kings with chains. To do what? Bind their kings with chains. No, I don't say that in the Bible. To do what? Bind their kings with chains. So Donald Trump go, go get a chain on his neck, man. Netanyahu go get a chain on his neck, man. Vladimir Putin go get chains on his neck, man. Thus said the Lord, thus said the Holy Bible, man. Because you put chains around our king's neck, right? Did you put our king and hang him on the cross? Right? Did you pierce his hands and his feet? Did you pierce his side? Wait. And they're nobles with feathers of iron. And they're nobles with feathers of iron, man. That's called slavery and captivity. Wait. To execute upon them the judgment written. The judgment written. We're reading with the judgment that's written. Give me Isaiah 14 and 1. Come. This honor have all his saints. Pray. Hey, this is an honor to the saints. Right? We. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Kwam Yasharala. Right? So the saints are, is, is patiently waiting for revenge. Right? Waiting for the return of the Messiah to give us justice for what happened to us, man. And what's still happening to us today.